Will. William? William. Sorry, must have dozed off again. You've been doing that quite a lot lately today. Have you seen something? Are you still taking your medication? Yeah, but it doesn't stop the dreams. The dreams that you told me about during our last session. The ones you say that are real. Feel real, as if I was actually there experiencing them. Have you had any of these dreams recently? No, but I've noticed off things, like people just standing still, staring at me. People who weren't really there? Yeah, one minute they're there, then the next they just, I don't know. Vanish? As if they were a hallucination? It wasn't a hallucination. It was real. It felt real. Alright. Well, that's all we have time for today. We'll continue this in tomorrow's session. I recommend you go home, take your medication, and get some rest. Alright. How are you feeling today, William? Honestly, I think I've been getting worse. I had a dream last night. One of these physical dreams, as you'd say. Yeah, but this time, there was a man in it. A man? Why was he there? Honestly, I have no idea. Have you been taking your medication? Well, I was going to, but... What is it? Is there something behind me? It's him. It's the man, the man from the dreams. It's not real, Will. Focus, focus on me. It's not real. He's gone. See, it wasn't real. But he was just there, standing right behind you. When was the first time that you saw this man? I don't know, I think yesterday when I was walking home. Um, behind an alley, I think. An alleyway? Yeah, just down the road, not far from here. Maybe you should go back to that alleyway. Why would I do that? Well, by going back to the first place that you saw him, it might help you to put the hallucinations to rest. I don't see how that could work. Well, some psychological beliefs state that by going back to the first place that you saw him, it could stop the apparitions and you'll see that there's nothing to be scared of. There's nothing there. So, in short, you're asking me to go back to the alleyway and look for a ghost? 
I'm not telling you to do anything. Just by going back to the same place that you saw him, the first place, it could help you stop the apparitions, the hallucinations, the dreams. You'll see there's nothing to be scared of. I'll think about it. Alright, well, that's all we have time for today. I'll see you in tomorrow's session. Take care. Okay, you too. Mate, you got a spare smoke? No, but sorry. Come on, mate, I can see you. Uh, you saw. Just give us a cigarette. Jeez. After the devastating news that a body had been found in an alleyway in the heart of the city, police have been working non-stop to find the culprit of this heinous crime. Over the last few hours, local authorities believe that they have found their leading suspect from the scene of the crime and have since made an arrest. More on that one shortly. So I have to ask, why did you tell me to go to the alleyway? Did you know I'd find the body there or did you just Yes. No, not a body. I thought it would help with the visions, dreams and hallucinations that you've been having. Tell me, did it work? Have you seen the man from the dreams since then? 
No, not since then, but I have been feeling a little uneasy. I haven't had any hallucinations, visions or anything of that variety whatsoever. But I have stopped taking my medication. You don't have to worry about the medication anymore. Why not? I have to tell you something, William. Something about you. What? What is it? You're not sick. You've never been sick. The medication I was told to prescribe you was only restricting you. What? What are you talking about? You're special, William. The ghosts, visions, dreams, hallucinations, they were all real. So why did you tell me they were fake if they were real then? Because I wasn't sure if you were sick or if you really had these abilities. Abilities? You can see the dead. You see how they die and you feel it. So in a sense, I have special abilities? In a sense, yes. You're more than what you think you are. You have potential, William. How do you know all this? How could you possibly know all this? Because, William, you're not the only one that saw the ghost. You saw him too. You're like me, you can see dead people as well. I've seen many patients, and now I'm sure I finally found someone like me. I found you, William. What, what does this all mean? What happens next? We help people. 